Hello, my friends. Does anybody watch that lady on TikTok? She's really funny. So, today, number one, I curled my hair. I need volume up here. I need to figure out how to not make this look so on top. But also, note the eh, almost side part. That's about as good as I could get it today. And these glasses are just giving me Charlie's Angels vibes, and I'm loving it. Got these on Amazon, and I want other colors. I want purple and green. So today is part two of doing the tinted moisturizer, what you call that, showdown, testing, I don't know. I'm trying out a bunch of different tinted products for summer and giving you my reviews on them. Part one is up now, so I will link that for you up above. So today we're going to be trying the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. This says it is a tinted skin veil. Now, I did test this out in a video a while back testing out like a bunch of new products. So I will also link that for you above so you can see that review where it was kind of like my first initial reaction. And honestly, it's been so long I can't remember what I think about this. So, as always, we're going to be starting with the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel um, sunscreen. And that is going to be our base because it is very important to have a standalone sunscreen under your makeup products. <clears throat> this says, this oil-free perfector delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint for a flawless, softly luminous complexion. Hyaluronic acid plant derived squalene. Squalene helps promote healthy looking, supple, moisturized skin. All right, so I'm going to throw on a brow really quick and then I'll come back and we will start with this on this side with the fingers. I just threw some of the Flower Beauty Fiber Fix Brow Gel in Blonde through my brows just to give them a little bit of fluff, a little bit of color. Very natural because again with this tinted hydrator we're going to be having a very natural look. So this is in the shade Porcelain. Did you hear that in my throat? <clears throat> okay. So, here's what it looks like. It is a little bit too yellow. It's kind of the same, excuse me, the same issue I have with the L'Oreal. It's a little more yellow than I would prefer. It's definitely easier to blend because it is a little bit more hydrating than the Maybelline and the L'Oreal as far as my fingers go. Like, I feel like I'm not dragging at all. I mean, it's the same with all of them. It doesn't look bad, but I definitely can see my finger strokes. Okay, yeah. This is definitely... This is porcelain. I don't think that there's a lighter shade. Okay. So, here is one side. Just a light application with my fingers. You can still obviously see some of the redness coming through on my cheek. So now I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to calm down, everybody. I'm going to wet it just a little bit with my Catrice spray. Go ahead and put some of the. Wow, this pumps out fast. So just be forewarned. That comes out very quickly. So here's the side with the sponge. You can clearly, well, I hope you can clearly see that this side, I think because I used the sponge with a little bit of moisture, it definitely has brought the luminosity or the glow of this product through a little bit more. Whereas this side where I did it, oops, with my fingers, looks a little, it's not matte. It's not matte by any means, but it's more matte than this side that I did with the sponge. So if you feel like this product may be too glowy for you, your fingers may be the way to go to get an application that isn't quite as luminous as this side. Now, I do want to take a little bit and try to build up on my cheeks because it did say that it is sheer to medium buildable. So let's give it a try. I'm just going to pounce that in on my cheeks. Mm, I actually don't like how that looks. Like, I don't think it actually... I don't think it really gave me any additional coverage. So is this buildable? I'm going to have to say no. Let me bring you up close. It actually looks pretty nice on my skin. 
Looks nice in my T-zone. Looks nice on my cheeks. So far, no complaints. Definitely using your fingers will, um, like I said, not make it quite as luminous as this side where I used the dampened sponge. So here is my face so far using the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I'm going to put the rest of my makeup on. I'll come back and show you and then we will do a wear test throughout the day. Okay, I am back with my face on. The only thing we need to do is powder. Um, so let me find my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. Also, if you're curious as to what I'm wearing, I just played with a bunch of new makeup that I recently hauled, so be sure to look out for that video. Such Charlie's Angels vibes. Okay, so let's go ahead and powder this side of my face with the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Honestly, both sides feel pretty good, but I just want to make sure that I keep, you know, all our variables as similar as possible. So there we go. That side is powdered. I think it's about 1.30 right now, so I will check in with you later and let you know how the Tinted Hydrator from Wet n Wild is wearing. Okay, 9.30 at night. Let's take a look. We are checking in on the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. Honestly, I'm really impressed with this one too. Um, it's worn very well. I've had this on since 1, 1.30. Went outside for a little bit, took a ride. Um, it's worn off on my nose, worn off a little bit on my chin. Probably the only thing I can say for this is that I feel like it did settle in to the fine lines on my forehead. Um, honestly, the side where I powdered versus the side where I didn't powder. I really don't see any major difference um, on either side. Yeah, honestly, I don't have a lot to say about it because this wore very well. Now, I didn't really like sweat or anything, so I don't know if it would hold up well under sweat, which again, I've talked about this in part one. I don't anticipate this to hold up well when you're like pouring sweat or anything. But if you can find a shade match in this, this may not be a bad thing. And plus, it's 0 .0, or excuse me, 0 0.91 fluid ounces, so just about an ounce. And I think this is only $6. Um, and a lot of times, Wet n Wild stuff will go on sale. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty pleased with how well this looks. It feels very lightweight on the face. I feel like all the products that I put on top of it have worn very nicely. Like this bronzer is still beautiful. I'm really digging my bronzer, which I linked in the other video for you. Blush looks nice. Yeah, other than it wearing off on my nose, but again, I wear glasses and a little bit on my chin and settling into the fine lines on my forehead, which I will note that the fine lines on this side where I powdered look better than this side where I didn't powder. Like, can you see the difference? And especially like right here where I powdered versus right here where I didn't. So if you powder this, that may not be too bad of an issue. So I honestly don't have any complaints um, as far as this wear test goes on the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Finally, we are on day four of testing different tinted drugstore products today we're going to be testing this one from essence now i have used this before but um i really want to try it today solely on its own this is the essence my skin perfector tinted primer what's different about this product is that it's not a hydrator or a moisturizer it's a tinted primer and this actually has a natural matte finish and it has a blurring effect which it honestly does i use this a lot in quick makeup and it does in fact blur your pores so i already just put a little bit of brow in the flower beauty fiber brow gel going in with my can make sunscreen here don't mind my hair i had this cheetah hat on but i took it off so i could do my makeup and i just kind of threw this little headband on so that's why i have these pippy long stocking braids all right there we go now before we go on let me show you the cutest thing my friend got me this for Mother's Day. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. Okay, are you ready? Look at this little Mommy Shark Ray Dunn coffee cup. How darling is that? Look at this little pink. My kids were both in there when I opened this and they were like, Mommy Shark! They were going nuts. How cute is that? 
But look, just at the cup, mommy shark. How sweet is that? Thank you, Gina, for my Mother's Day gift. Got me some iced coffee in here. Mmm. Gosh, that's good. As per usual, we're going to go in on this side with my fingers, go on this side with a sponge, and then we will set this side with powder. So I have mine in the shade Fair Neutral. This lightweight mousse texture with a velvety feel, sorry, my mouth's watering from the coffee, with a velvety feel that makes pores optically disappear while leaving skin looking smooth and with a natural matte finish, can be worn alone for natural coverage or under foundation for smoother makeup application and enhanced coverage. So for that reason, I'm pulling you in because I want to. Okay, so here's what my pores are looking like beforehand product does I think work well if you kind of warm it up between your fingers a little bit okay let's take a look okay seeing some strokes from my finger nothing unusual all right so now that you're pulled back up You can definitely see that it's covered some of the redness on my cheek. It's really evened out this area of my face. Not looking too bad to be quite honest and it is a matte finish to the skin. Honestly, that doesn't look half bad. I just had some streaks right there and I kind of just blended that out. That does not look bad at all. Okay, so let's go in on the other side. I'm gonna take my sponge, just wet it a little bit. Take some of the product. I am going to warm it between my fingers, kind of place it where I want it, and then go back over it with the sponge. Okay, that was super, super quick. I like that. So here's this side with the sponge. Again, just like with the Wet n Wild, um, this side definitely has a little bit more luminosity than this side. This side looks more matte. Let's see if we can't build up the coverage at all on the cheeks where I'm the reddest. So I'm gonna take it, gosh. I'm gonna take some product, warm it up, place it over my cheeks, and just kind of pat it in and see what happens. Okay, that actually built up coverage. I mean, nothing crazy. You can still see a little bit of redness, but that did a nice job of building on itself to give me just a smidge more coverage on my cheeks. So let me show you again. Here we have this side with a sponge. This side with my fingers. Honestly, this did really well with fingers. I feel like Wet n Wild did as well out of all four of these. Yeah, actually, feels really nice. Even this side with the sponge, it's just got a smidge, just the smallest bit of tackiness, but nothing crazy. So I'm going to do the rest of my face and then we will set this side and then go on to a wear test. Okay. I just threw a little bit on. I'm not really going to do anything with the under eyes. I'm just keeping it kind of simple. So now let's go ahead and set this side with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder. This side that I didn't set with powder honestly doesn't feel tacky at all. All right, so let me bring you in and get one final look before we start our wear test. Honestly, it, I mean, it does look matte, but it's meant to have a mattifying effect and I think it definitely delivers. I think it delivers on giving a blurring effect to my cheeks. Obviously, this one has given me, has given me the most blurring effect out of all three but the other ones don't claim to do that so if you are someone who has oily skin and you want something quick that's going to give you a little bit of um like evenness some blurring and a matte finish this may be something for you to look into for the spring and summertime all right and that was my final wear test testing out the essence my skin perfecter now let's get into some of the um we'll say statistics looking at availability we'll look at shade range and we'll look at pricing for these four products all right 7 30 p.m check-in on the essence tinted primer so obviously you can tell I have sweated some and it has come off on my nose. So let's take a look. 
honestly it looks nice I think it could like if I want to extend the wear I could use a little bit of powder um, in my t-zone area for sure so let's um test how that would look I don't know why I'm not just keeping this powder on my desk all right so let's well let me finish looking at it I mean it honestly still looks matte everywhere but like right here in my t-zone which is where I tend to sweat the most still definitely my pores are blurred so let's see what would happen if we apply just a little bit of powder and I am just using the elf halo glow just got done cleaning up the kitchen from dinner okay that looks a little cakey where it's kind of meeting where the foundation or the tinted primer still is but it honestly doesn't look bad from far away at all uh that did great on my forehead did nicely here yeah i mean this is worn very well because i've been busy today with the kids and baths and dinner and cleaning and running around the house so i mean it still honestly looks really nice it just needed a little pick me up right here in this t-zone area but other than that i am honestly impressed at how nice this still looks how matte it looks and the fact that it hasn't worn off so the essence my skin perfector tinted primer is a nice matte option i think if you can find a shade that works for you all right i've compiled the information let's start with maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer for availability you can find it on maybelline's website and you can find it on Walmart online only. As far as I can tell, you cannot find this in store. On Maybelline's website, the price is $9.99 and you can find 14 shades available. On Walmart online, it is $7.98 and you can find 14 shades available as well. So if you're interested in the Maybelline, I would suggest looking at Walmart online since it has the entire shade range available and a lower price than the Maybelline website. For the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer, you can find it on their website for $16.99 with 12 shades available. You can also find this at Target for $13.99 with all 12 shades available. You can also find it at Ulta for $16.99, all 12 shades available. For the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, you can find this on their website for $5.99 and they have all 12 shades available. On Target, you can find this for $4.99, but they only have seven of the 12 shades available on Target's website. On Ulta.com, you can get this for $5.99, but again, only seven shades are available. And then on Amazon, you can find this ranging from $3.99 to $4.99, but only eight shades are available. So if this is something you're interested in, I would suggest looking first on Amazon to see if you can find your shade. And if you can't, then I would look to Wet n Wild's actual website. And if you watch, sometimes they will put stuff on sale. So you may be able to get it a little bit cheaper um, than the $5.99 price tag. But I would recommend first starting with Amazon if you're interested in this product. All right, for the Essence Tinted Primer, you can find this on their website for $5.99. Unfortunately, there are only six shades in this uh, product regardless of what website you look at. On Ulta, you can find it for $5.99 for all six shades. On Amazon, you can find it ranging from $5.99 to $8, depending on what shade, but all six shades are available on Amazon. You also can find this at CVS um, online only. I would say not a lot of stores um, that I've seen sell Essence in store, but they do have Essence online or um, you can order through their app. This is $7.49 online with all six shades available. If you're interested in this, I would say your best bet would be Ulta. As far as availability, definitely the winner would be the Wet n Wild. You can find this at on their website, at Target, at Ulta, and at Amazon. And then as far as price, 
I would again say Wet n Wild is the best in price. The Wet n Wild is coming in less than even the Essence Tinted Primer, seeing as how you can get it for $4.99 some places and even potentially as low as $3.99 on Amazon depending on what shade you pick. But as far as shade range, the winner is Maybelline coming in at 14 different shades. Now, what is my overall winner for me? L'Oreal is coming in last. One for the price, two for the availability, which it is available at three different places, but still. Um, for me, I'm not going to order off their website because of shipping. Um, I don't order off Target a lot, and I don't have a Target locally to me. It's like an hour and a half to two hours away. And this is at Ulta, but I don't go to Ulta that often. So for me to get this took quite a while and it took me actually going to Ulta in store to get it which I could have gotten it at Ulta online but seeing as how even at Ulta this is about $17 and I still didn't get a shade that is really good for me this is a little bit too yellow I would say the L'Oreal is coming in last next I would have to say Maybelline um just because I do appreciate the larger shade range, but for me in the wear, it just wasn't my favorite. And the color is nice. I think it wore nicely. It did well um, applying powder to it later in the day and extending the wear. So this isn't bad by any means. I would say if you're looking for one of these products, this may be something to check out because of the shade range availability. Um, so I liked it, but I just, in my heart, I liked it others better but I would say my second is definitely essence because I like that it's a matte finish but that's not the finish I prefer also I don't like the shade range as much seeing that there's only six shades um, I definitely think that they should have at minimum ten shades um, to expand in the categories of light medium and deep or deep dark so I, I really though think this might be something to look into if you can find a shade that works for you. Um, if you're looking for something lightweight but a matte finish, I, I really do like this. I wear this a lot on quick, easy, fast makeup days. But for me, I'm going to have to say my number one is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, the price is amazing. The fact that you can get this for $6 or less um, at Ulta. If you go in to buy it, you could use, if you buy some other things, like a 3 off 15 um, coupon. Um, like I said, right now, Ulta's having the buy two, get one free sale. Um, and honestly, just the wear of this, I like the little bit of luminosity because I am a dry skin gal. So the finish of this for me is preferable. So I would have to say my number one is going to be the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. All right, so that is my final thoughts on testing these four tinted products from the drugstore. Let me know down below. Um, do you use any of these? Do you, what are your thoughts? If you do already use any of these products, are you interested in trying any of these products? Let me know down below any thoughts you may have. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.